Very recently, astronomers have found three potential super-Earth planets orbiting a somewhat close orange dwarf star. The term super-Earth is used to describe a planet beyond the solar system with a mass higher than that of Earth but below those of the ice giants of the solar system, Uranus and Neptune. An international team of researchers, led by Dr. Shweta Dalal from the University of Exeter, found that the exoplanets were orbiting star HD 48498, which is located around 55 light-years away from Earth. The planets travel around their star in 7, 38, and 151 Earth days, respectively. The study describing these findings appeared in the journal MINRAS on the 24th of June 2024. The coolest thing here is that the outermost exoplanet candidate orbits in the habitable zone of its host star, and the conditions there might be comfortable enough for liquid water to exist on the surface without boiling or freezing. Such habitable regions around stars are also known as the Goldilocks zone and are believed to be ideal for potentially supporting life. Another reason this discovery is so important is that the orange host star is like our Sun. But since it's an orange dwarf, it produces less radiation than our yellow dwarf star. It's also the closest planetary system to host a super-Earth in the habitable zone of a Sun-like star, which makes this discovery super exciting. It can help us move forward in our quest to locate habitable planets around solar-type stars. Who knows? Maybe this planet will be our new home one day. These potential super-Earths were detected thanks to the HARPS and Rocky Planet Search Program. Throughout a decade, the team taking part in this research has collected nearly 190 high-precision measurements using special equipment. By analyzing the spectrum of light coming from a star, astronomers can figure out whether it's moving toward us – this is known as blue shift – or away from us – that's what we call red shift. And still, to make sure their findings were correct, the team used lots of different methods and comparative analysis. Everything confirmed their conclusions. There, indeed, are three planetary candidates with minimum masses ranging from 5 to 11 times the mass of our home planet. The team also believes that the proximity of the star, together with the outermost planet's favorable orbit, can make this system a great target for future studies. Hopefully, further research will open doors for our understanding of planetary systems and the potential of life outside our solar system. Scientists have already discovered more than 5,000 exoplanets, which are planets outside the solar system, since the first such world was confirmed orbiting a sun-like star in 1995. To find those distant planets, astronomers use different equipment, like NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, launched in 2009. Its mission was to find as many Earth-like planets dwelling in the Milky Way galaxy as possible. But it's not the only instrument used for searching exoplanets. Anyway, now let's look at the most exciting and promising of these worlds. Gliese 667 cc is a mere 22 light-years from Earth. But even though it seems close, it's still around 129 trillion miles away from us. The planet itself is around 3.8 times as massive as Earth and completes one orbit around its host star within 28 days. In other words, a year on that Earth-like planet is 13 times shorter than a year on our planet. Luckily, the star is a cool red dwarf, so the exoplanet most likely lies in its habitable zone. But there's still a chance that this world might be regularly baked by the flares coming from its parent star, which is not cool on many different levels. <laughs> Kepler-22b is way further away than the previous world, more than 600 light-years away from our planet. It was the very first Kepler planet found in the habitable zone of its star. This world is larger than Earth, it's about 2.4 times our planet size. Sadly, we still don't know whether this planet is rocky, liquid, or gaseous. The orbit of Kepler-22b is similar to Earth's. It takes the planet 290 days to orbit its G-class star, which is kind of like our Sun. But this star is smaller and colder than ours. Another Kepler planet, this time it's Kepler 69c. It lies a whopping 2,700 light years away from us. This world is also almost 70% larger than Earth. Researchers know nothing about its composition, but they found out that the planet needs 240 days to complete one orbit. This makes its position in its system like that of Venus in our solar system. At the same time, 
this world might be more habitable than Venus since its host star is a bit less luminous – 80% of our Sun. TOI 733b is a recently discovered world. It was found in 2023. It's out there, 245 light-years away from Earth and needs just 4.9 Earth days to complete an orbit around its star. But the coolest thing about this planet is that it might have a massive ocean. According to scientists, the planet is likely to be completely covered with water. Does that mean there could be life on the super-Earth? Time will tell. GJ1214b is located 48 light-years from Earth. This planet is a super-Earth, almost three times bigger in diameter and eight times heavier than our home. It orbits around its red dwarf star faster than you can binge-watch your favorite series, finishing a complete loop every 38 hours. But it's not just the planet's size or orbit that's out of this world. It's pretty hot out there, with mine melting 450 degrees Fahrenheit. But the coolest thing is that this planet is practically drowning in water. The sizzling temperatures and crazy high pressures on JG1214b create some cool materials like hot ice and superfluid water. Superfluidity is something that happens in liquid helium when it's almost as cold as it can get. On Earth, water totally missed the memo about being superfluid because it needs ridiculously low temperatures and off-the-chart pressures to pull off that trick. Still, there's not much use in superfluid water. Even if you try it, you'll just get dehydrated. The super-Earth that's closest to us was discovered in 2016, and it's called Proxima Centauri b. It's located a mere 4 light-years away from Earth and has a mass remarkably similar to that of our planet. A year on Proxima Centauri b is short. It only takes the planet 11.2 days to complete a circle around its central star. Scientists discovered this world after they noticed that its parent star was slightly wobbling. They hadn't been sure what exactly had been happening there until they realized Proxima Centauri b's gravity probably produced pulls and tugs that caused these wobbles. Although the exoplanet is traveling in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, it is exposed to extreme ultraviolet radiation, all because it lies very close to its parent star. Also, none of the telescopes that are currently working and exploring exoplanets are positioned well enough to capture the light from the atmosphere of this super-Earth. Most things there are still a mystery to us, even though we're talking about a planet that's really close. Super-Earth TOI 715b orbits a red dwarf, a star smaller and cooler than our Sun. At the moment, such stars remain prime candidates for finding habitable planets orbiting them. Those miniature rocky worlds have far closer orbits than those circling around stars like our Sun. But since red dwarfs are small and cool, the planets don't risk anything when crowding closer. They're still safely within a star's habitable zone. Experts say that TOI 715b might have once had an atmosphere thicker than that of Neptune. And now, the planet could be in a transition state where it's losing its atmosphere. To confirm this suspicion, scientists need to do more research and they might finally learn whether this planet is a watery terrestrial planet. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.